and to find out what Lola and Louie have been up to. They have the top animal stories of the week in the News Hounds Now update. It's News Hounds Now update with Lola and Louie. This week on the News Hounds Now update, we found a trained cat. A huge herd of horses. And popcorn munching gorillas. But first, it's zoo babies galore, starting with a brand new antelope at the Brookfield Zoo in Chicago. The male calf was born on Valentine's Day, and they named him Valentino, of course. He's a deek deek antelope, an African species that's one of the smallest in the world. He weighed just 23 ounces at birth and will weigh about 12 pounds full grown. The Toronto Zoo has a new baby zebra, but they don't have a name yet. The, quote, hungry little man is bonding with mommy zebra and eating up a storm, which is good because he'll weigh nine times what he does now when he's full grown. And at the Belgian Zoo, Ai Chen Mei, a 23-year-old Asian elephant, gave birth to her first calf this week. The very long gestation period for elephants from 18 to 24 months makes it a special event for the zoo's caretakers. They're going to hold a contest to name the little girl. Unmoved by the hustle and bustle of passengers rushing about a station in central Israel, Mitzi the cat has become famous for relaxing amidst all the commotion in poses of perfect calm. She has become an online star with videos of her calmness racking up the likes. Mitzi is being looked after by staff and passengers. She was born somewhere around the block and has been at the station for the past couple of years. There is perhaps nothing more picturesque in winter than horses running through freshly fallen snow, and this video from China does not disappoint. Tens of thousands of horses galloped through a snowy pasture this week, giving tourists exactly what they came to see. The area has been dubbed the home to horses from heaven, and that seems to be a pretty good description. And finally, it's raining popcorn. Yes, that's what's happening in the gorilla habitat at Chicago's Brookfield Zoo. The zoo installed special feeders with times that release various food items at random times. Sometimes that food is popcorn. Officials say it encourages the primates to forage, not to mention providing entertainment for both lowland gorillas and human visitors. And that's this week's edition of the News Hounds Now Update. Isn't that beautiful, those horses? That is heavenly. That's the way to end the week. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Charlotte, for helping out. You're welcome.